Hey everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 31 of 2015 at magicreview.com. Today we're looking at The Lookout Wallet by Paul Carnazzo. Uh, so, short version, you're getting a peak wallet. Here it is right here. We'll talk about some details in a minute. Uh, you're getting a peak wallet and a DVD for 60 bucks. Um, so, just the wallet's empty right now. Just to give you a size comparison, uh, this is just a regular old you know, $10 Walmart billfold. This is my regular wallet. Here's the Peak Wallet. It's almost exactly the same height there, if you can see that. Uh, and it's just a little bit skinnier. And it's, the thickness is about the same. Um, there you go. Uh, so that, that's empty now. So that's the basic idea. It's a Peak Wallet where you can have the spectator write something. You give them the wallet. They write something on the back of your business card. I just wrote the word Peak. They can put it inside of the little pocket here themselves shove that in there and do it down here so they put the, the card in the wall themselves they close it up and everything looks fine but right at this second I'm actually peeking the information I can see it plain as day okay and that's it I mean it's very very simple to do and uh, it's you know it's that's what it does you can peek the information you can use it for design duplication for a mind reading whatever um, now there is a little bit of an angle issue on the left side but in the DVD Paul covers every possible idea to cover that and protect it so much so that I would even go as far as saying that there really isn't an angle issue uh, because he talks about several different ways to deal with it if you have people over here how to manage it, the, the way you do the peak um, you can if you happen to be wearing a coat as you're putting the wallet in your coat you can get the peak and it's totally invisible uh, even putting it in your front pocket you can get a peak that way um, there's a cool thing you can do if you're wrapping a rubber band around it we'll talk more about the rubber band uh, thing later but I, I'm actually right now I'm peaking the information and I do that as I wrap the rubber band around it and everything's clean so uh, there's, it's a very very good peak wallet it does exactly like if you saw the trailer it looks exactly that clean it's very very clever so let's talk about um, the DVD just a little bit and then we'll get into the details of the wallet on the DVD it's very well put together it's very well thought out there's lots of details as I mentioned about when and how and where to use the wallet uh, everything you could, you could possibly want to know about using this wallet it's covered on the DVD plus he covers a design duplication routine um, and he has a really clever thing uh, I, to be honest I don't remember if it, this is his own idea or not um, but it's super clever and this is what it looks like to the spectator the spectator literally does not write down anything uh, and you're able to still um, so let me let me back up you they do they do draw something they put it in the wallet okay but you after you've peaked and you've got the information and everything you then ask them to in their mind add some more stuff to the drawing you don't tell them what stuff to draw or to, to add in their mind but they literally only think of it they don't write it down they don't tell you they don't do anything and yet you're able to 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 um, put on your drawing your duplication the details that they added in their head so it's it's literally only in their head it's never written down or anything so it's a very very clever idea anyway there's lots of other ideas on there uh, there's another method to get the peak that um, is very very bold that um, it, it doesn't it, like this method here I'm actually doing the peak right now very subtle uh, of course you wouldn't hold it up to your face like that It'd be, you'd be more looking down as you're putting it in your wallet or your pocket or whatever but for the camera I'm just showing you uh, but there's another method where you're actually almost doing it right in front of them but due to the nature of the handling um, it's nothing where they suspect anything um, to, to them it looks like you just opened up this and got a got a business card out or something that's it um, but in reality you're staring right at the information so anyway uh, everything you can imagine about how to use this peak wallet it's covered DVD is awesome it's very very good so let's take a look at the wallet itself um, what you get uh, just a close-up here uh, this wallet holds a kind of accordion there a little bit and it holds a bunch of business cards right in there uh, you got two little flaps right here and right here to put cards or whatever in and that's basically it there is another little pocket but it's hidden and I can't really show it to you without exposing the peak mechanism 
Um, but it's there for that very blatant, obvious peak that I was telling you about. Uh, so when you first get the DVD opened up, Paul tells you to stretch this thing out and to bend this back here. The, this is the just the flap lid and just break it in, you know, and then to jam your fingers in there and push out those um, creases in there, you know. Let me see that. Okay. Anyway, sorry, the lighting's funny here. I'm trying to get a good... There we go. So push that out, stretch it out and everything. Um, so in, um, in the ad copy now, there's a couple things we need to address. Um, it says that you can fit 40 business cards in the wallet. So I've got 40 business cards right here. Now mine are a little thicker than your average Joe, but there's my 40 business cards, all right? Shove those in here. And they totally fit as far as uh, I could fit more in there, frankly. I mean, I could stretch that out fit quite a bit more in there. But this, the way this wallet closes, there's a magnet right there. You can probably see the little bump there. Yeah, kind of right there. Uh, and then it magnets magnetically sticks to this part of the wallet here. Okay, so right now I've got it on the magnet, but if I move my finger, it's not staying. Now I can just kind of just jamming it down a little bit and readjusting it. I can, yeah, sometimes the, the question is will it hold 40 business cards? And the answer is sometimes. Sometimes I've been able to get this to close and other times not. And right now we're dealing with a not there uh, no not quite yeah and even when it is closed with 40 it does tend to pop open with just a little shake so I found that 30 is a better number maybe 30 ish um, and not ah, a couple more now it's not closing at all there we go so that's 30 and a little shake and it doesn't open up or anything like that. So that's holding. I took this many out. Okay. Let me straighten that up so you can see better. That's how many I took out. All right. So it holds 30. No problem. All right. Not a problem at all. Uh, any more than that and you're going to have a problem with this flapping open. Okay. But right now it stays shut. Okay. We're going to talk about um, what to do with, with, it, with it in a moment if it doesn't quite stay shut. But now, on top of this, he says that you can, in the ad copy, says that you can put his Mental Voyage uh, pocket wallet cards in there. And just briefly what those are, they're, they're little wallet cards that he sells. Uh, each one is sold separately, and it comes with a booklet on how to use it and everything. And I actually use these in my repertoire. Um, the, the animal one was my favorite one, um, and I replaced it with the Dreamweaver card now. So I don't use the animal one anymore. Uh, but anyway... Um, these four cards he's saying will fit in the wallet and so I thought well let's put them in the little pocket right here right so if you put two in each pocket there we go jam them in there they fit just fine so there they are in the pockets but the problem is the wallet will not close and in fact, if you take the business cards out completely, no business cards, just the wallet cards, still won't close. Okay, the 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 stiffness and the pressure of the cards is stronger than the magnetic pull, so that's that's a little bit of an issue there. Uh, now, here's the thing: if you put these cards inside the business card section right here, okay. See that? And you put in about 20 business cards ish. Okay. So now you got business cards and these pocket wallet cards. Now you go to shut it and it'll shut. Okay. So, and it won't open when you shake it. So, if you wanted to carry around those wallet cards, you have to put them in the pocket with the business cards and you'd only be able to hold about 20 business cards. That's still plenty of business cards and then the wallet cards. Now, obviously, not every one of you have these wallet cards. I get that. Um, but you could put a small packet trick in there, like, you know, Boy from Max Maven or something like that. Um, so that's basically what you're getting. Now, he also says in the ad copy and on the DVD that you can fit an entire deck of poker-sized cards in there. Well, you can, as you can see. fits just fine, okay? But you, again, run into this issue with the wallet not staying closed uh, and this you can see on the side here 
that because of the height there, and the, I mean, you'd have to, this leather would have to be stretched out a bit more uh, to make that fit. It's not going to stay shut. But the deck will fit in there, and you can still fit a few business cards in here, and maybe the wallet cards or something else like that. Um, but it won't stay closed. So the ad copy doesn't say that the wallet will fully close with the stuff in there. Um, and and the reason I'm, I'm feeling like that's, uh, that's okay is because in the video he talks about what if the wallet won't close. So it's not anything that I think was sneaky or deceitful or anything like that. And so he just suggests putting the road man on it, which I don't have a problem with that. Uh, you may, and that's your choice. But if I, especially if that were a black rubber band, it holds everything nicely. And it, what I like about this, if it, if I were personally performing it, now again, what I would personally do with it is irrelevant to the review, but just to throw it out there in case you care, uh, and it might help you make your decision. Um, I, if I were to use this, I would put a full deck of cards in there, a couple of business cards, and then I would put some of the wallet cards, maybe one or two of the wallet cards in there. And then you got a deck of cards, and a couple of standalone mentalism pieces, and you got a small little routine right here all in this wallet. And you know, you got a rubber band. If you do rubber band magic, you can add that. And as I mentioned earlier, the rubber band, wrapping the rubber band around allows you to get the peak in an even more deceptive way, and it helps even cover your angles a little bit better. So if you don't mind the rubber band, then you can do everything he said. Put 40 cards, business cards in there, or a deck of cards, uh, and or the wallet cards, and or a packet trick or whatever. Um, but basically, that's the capacity. I wouldn't put much more than that in there. I mean, you still, there's still, I don't know if you see that, there's still some room in there. So I could shove these guys in there probably. Yeah, there's the four wallet cards shoved in there. And easily put a few business cards in here, maybe five or six or seven or whatever. And then close that up, wrap the rubber band, and you're set. So that's what you're getting. Um, the, the main uh, claims in the ad copy that... I just wanted to make sure you were clear on was fitting 40 business cards um, or fitting a deck of cards and not both obviously you couldn't fit both 40 and a deck that's way too much but you can fit 40 business cards or a deck of cards in there if you don't mind that the wallet doesn't close all the way and you have to use a rubber band which I don't personally mind that but again you might and the reason I'm not letting that be a big hit to the ad copy is because there is a solution provided for you on there, and it wasn't anything that I felt was deceitful or, or sneaky or whatever. Um, additionally, if you wanted to put other things like, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the wallet cards from Paul Carnazzo, um, but I, I love them. They're great because they fit in your wallet, and you can just, where'd they go? Here we go. Uh, and you can, they're just ready to go at any time. So these are the original four. He's updated them and replaced them with these new uh, plastic ones. The other ones were laminated. These are really thin and plastic. Um, same problem though, they don't, they, you have the same issues in the wallet that I mentioned a minute ago where it won't shut all the way. Uh, but I've tested with both of them. Anyway, but these are excellent products too. I really like these. Maybe I'll do a review on them later. Um, so bottom line, if you're looking for a, a great peak wallet, this is killer. And if you're only going to carry like 20 business cards, maybe 30 at the most, uh, and then you don't even need the rubber band or anything, just the wallet. And it is, you know, it's a business card holder is what it looks like. And the peak is super easy and super, I dropped it while I was doing it, and super clear. I'm looking right at it. I mean, plain as day. Um, and so it's very easy to do, very easy to use. And if you only want to carry about 25 or 30 business cards, then it's perfect. Uh, you don't have to worry about the rubber band. If you wanted to carry more than that or other things besides the business cards, you will need the rubber band. Again, you get a black rubber band, I think it would look just fine. I don't think it look even that doesn't look weird. Um, so, but that's your call. Bottom line, uh, four stars, stone status of gem. I'm going to clear off my laptop so that you can like this video, subscribe to my channel, listen to the Random iTunes song of the moment, which is... <laughs> the Bee Gees, To Be or Not To Be by the Bee Gees off their Spicks and Specs album. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Tune in tomorrow, day 32, or also known as February 1st, 2015. We're reviewing Walla Tricks by uh, Deepak Mishra. I have it on a little card here because it's a digital download, so I don't have a physical product to show you. So tomorrow, Walla Tricks by Deepak Mishra. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace out.